Please look at square number one. I want to tell you what a prefix is. Say prefix. A prefix is a letter or letters placed before a base or a root word that changes its meaning. Let me say it again. A prefix is a letter or letters placed before a base or a root word that changes its meaning. Now there are a number of prefixes that mean not. There are letter or letters that come before a word that mean not. They change it almost to the opposite. Look at square number two. Un. The prefix un, un, changes the root or the base word to almost its opposite. It means not. Like look at the first word, kind means to be loving, to be kind, to show concern for someone else. Unkind means the opposite, not to be kind. Or happy. Happy is a state of being in which you feel good inside. Versus unhappy. The prefix un put before happy means unhappy, means sad. True. True means in accordance with fact or reality. Untrue. Not true. Untrue means false or incorrect. Not true. False. Wise. Unwise. To make good decisions is to be wise. To make bad decisions is to be unwise. Hurt unhurt. He was unhurt in the accident. Or he was hurt. Unhurt means the opposite of hurt. Loving. Unloving. He is a very loving person. Means he's kind. He's loving. Versus he's not. He's mean. Unloving. Open. Unopen means the opposite of open, unopen. Paid, unpaid. The bill was paid. The bill is unpaid. Sure, unsure. He was very sure about himself, or he was unsure about himself. He was not sure. Fair, unfair. Important, Unimportant. Now look at square number three. The prefix is dis, D I S. It means not or opposite, like like, to like somebody, to care for somebody, or dislike, not to like them. Appear, to be seen or to be looked at. Disappear it means to pass out of sight. You can't see them anymore. The bird disappeared into the nest. Agree, disagree. You agree with somebody means that you think what they're saying is correct. Or you disagree. You don't believe what they say is correct. Believe, disbelieve. Arm means to supply arms or weapons. Disarm. Disarm means to take weapons away. Like you can disarm from war. You can get rid of the weapons of war means to disarm. Mount. Dismount. Mount means to place oneself on, like to mount a horse. To get on a horse is to mount a horse. Dismount means to get off a horse. Interest, disinterest. Place, displace. Connect, disconnect. Trust, distrust. He has a lot of trust in me because I do what I say I do. Or he distrusts me because he's got good reason. Honest, dishonest. He is a very honest person doing business. Or he's dishonest. He's a crook.
All of these mean not or opposite of. Now look at square number four. I-L, I-M, I-N. These prefixes before a word, a base word, changes its meaning to not. Like legal, allowed by law or rules. Illegal is not allowed by laws or rules. Illegal is to do something that is wrong, that's against the laws. Legible, illegible. His writing was very legible, you could read it. It was illegible, you couldn't read it. Possible, impossible. Probable, improbable. Probable means likely to happen or something that is true. Improbable means that it's probably not going to happen. It is improbable that the football team will win because they're just not very good. Practical, impractical. Impractical means not useful, incapable of dealing sensibly with practical matters or issues. Not wise. Polite, impolite. Patient, impatient. Perfect, imperfect. Action, inaction. Correct, incorrect. Efficient, inefficient. Efficient means performing or functioning the best possible way without waste. Inefficient means to perform poorly with much waste. That particular gasoline engine is very inefficient. It uses and wastes a lot of gasoline. Now all of these prefixes coming before a base or a root word changes its meaning and it means the opposite, to not. So these are all base words that have a prefix that changes its meaning. Now please go to the next page and I'll show you the kind of exercises that you're going to have. Your job is going to be to choose a prefix that matches the following sentences. And you'll write the number on the line. The number will be right next to the prefix that you choose and then type the word on your computer. Choose the correct prefix and write the number on the line and then type the word on your computer. You're learning an important skill and I want you to feel proud of yourself and your ability that God's given you to learn anything. I am proud of you.